So kinetic friction is a force that opposes a motion parallel to uh, an interface between two surfaces. It, it tries to keep the surfaces from sliding past one another. And uh, as far as I uh, know, Leonardo da Vinci was the first one to describe, in essence, all the basic laws of kinetic friction, namely, not only is it independent of the contact area, but it actually doesn't care about how fast you slide one against the other. It only cares whether it is sliding. And that the degree of friction, or the, the, the uh, magnitude of the force opposing the motion, is proportional to the normal force, and we call the constant of approximate proportionality mu sub k, k for kinetic. Um, and it's independent of the area of contact. And, and these cartoons are trying to motivate why it might care about the normal force. So as you try to slide one surface past the other, there will be, there's roughness on the surfaces and there will be points where they're actually in close or closer contact. And you may have little peaks of one that have to be dragged over peaks of the other. And there may be uh, bonds, in essence, that get formed by the proximity that you then have to break. And the number of these, it would seem, could go up if you're smashing the surfaces harder together. So if there's a larger normal force, the number of places where there's intimate contact between the surfaces goes up. And another important point is if you were to polish that surface, you would expect that you might be able to affect the friction and, and lower it, which is true. Um, and that, as it turns out, in almost all cases, the force of static friction, if the two surfaces are not moving with respect to one another, exceeds the force of kinetic friction. So I'm going to have to pull extra hard initially to get the box moving, and then I can relax a little bit because the kinetic friction will be less than the initial uh, static friction uh, that the box has with the ground. Now, there's a problem here, and this is the big problem. The force of static friction is limited in magnitude by a coefficient that depends on uh, the particular surfaces that we're talking about. It is also proportional to normal force, but I can't just equate static friction with normal force times some coefficient. What's the static friction on my shoes at the moment? Okay, but if I try to move, then I'm going to need some friction to get moving, and as long as the friction that my motion demands is smaller than what the coefficient of static friction times the normal force be, uh, on my foot from the floor, then I won't slip, and I can go that way. So because this is an inequality, you typically have to leave in your diagram F sub S unless we think about just the limiting case right before something is going to slip. 